Alright, YouTube, what's up, man? Hi, dude. TikTok's been asking. TikTok always asks. Hey man, how to do a bear grind? I mean, I mean, you know, I'm actually shocked that people want to know how to do the bear grind because I'm, I'm gonna be honest, dude. The bear grind is the hardest grind out there, dude. Sincerely, it's it's definitely the hardest. It's not the easiest. Tracks are my go-to source for. Bruh, ain't nobody care about the tracks go-to source. Blah blah blah, bro. Choke on water, bro. Leave me alone. I'm trying to explain how to do a bear grind, and you're ruining it. <laughs> Freaking weirdo. Anyways, man. So I'm gonna try the best. I'm gonna try my best to explain a bear grind because it took me a long time to get my bear, man. Like it took me a whole month and 2,000 kills to get my bear. It was absolutely crazy. I it just it's crazy, man. It's crazy. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your your tent or your outpost, and you're gonna go to where you want to reset your time and bear drink from 2,000 to zero hundred so like zero hundred i know it says zero thirty six but zero so just think uh twenty hundred to zero hundred but for me my bear didn't start drinking until like twenty one thirty six and i'm gonna go ahead and just say this dude bears rotate drink zones they did for me they rotated drink zones like crazy and i'm gonna go ahead and say this Bro, bears are are weird, dude. They're weird. I I don't I don't know how to explain it. They rotate drink zones, and it just took me a long freaking time to get mine. So after you set your time to twenty hundred, be honest with you, if you're going to look, if you're trying to go find your zones like this, for instance, I'd probably set it more around twenty hundred because it give you more time to find zones. So like I said, once you set up your time. Now you go look for your drink zones, man. Your need zones. Need zones slash drink zones, whatever you want to call them. And I don't know how many there is on the map. But I'm going to go ahead and tell you this. There is bare drink zones on pretty much every freaking lake on Silver Ridge Peaks. Yeah, this is where I did my great one grind. It was on Silver Ridge Peaks. Like, there is literally a black bear almost every, every lake you see. Now, there was a few lakes here and there that didn't have very many. Like, for instance, I don't think this one. Yeah, I don't think this one had one, which is, I don't know the name of it. It doesn't have a name. So, it was like that one right there. And I think this one. Yeah, this one didn't have one either. So, I think those, the only, so every other water source in the game has, I think, a drink zone for bear. Maybe these don't either. Like I said, it's been a minute. No, this one's got some. Like I said, it's been a minute since I've done my bear grind. Like I don't, I don't remember. It's been a fat minute, but yeah, I think I think these are the only two. So these two links in directly in the middle of the map right here. These two, right here, are not. No, they don't have any drink zones. But I think everywhere else does have drink zones. And I actually, bro, and for me, the majority of my black bears were the top left corner. So pretty much all the way up here by Cougar Watch. All of these. I'm going to go ahead and just do this. It's literally all these right here. Bro, all these water sources right here for me was my hot spots for Black Bear. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say this too. Everybody's drink zones. Like, everybody can have the same amount of drink zones and have the same spots or whatever. But your Black Bear could spawn differently. Like, for instance, all my hot spots could be right here. And your hot spots could be all the way down here at, at these lakes. Do you see, you feel me? Like, it's, it's, it's random. And like I said, dude, Black Bear rotate zones like crazy. I, it's, it's hard. I, it, and you'd be, dude, I, you'd get lucky with each rotation you do. You'd be lucky if you killed three male Black Bears. Three. Tops. Unless you, unless you didn't do herd management on the bear. Because for me, I did half herd management and half not herd management. Because at first I was just shooting every male black bear I saw. Like for instance, I'll just I'll just pop down here and see what's popping down here. See what kind of black bear we got down here. So like I said, I did half her had mer I did half herd management and the other half I didn't. So if you want to do herd management for black bears, you wanna leave your one, two, and level three black bears alone. And you wanna shoot your four, five, six, seven, and eights. 
You can stack you can stack your level nine bears if you want. Me personally, every time I've done herd management, I've never stacked a bear. Never. I've never stacked any diamond to be in it. Right. Bro, it's been a minute since I've done a done a black bear grind, dude. I'm actually I'm actually set up for my white tail grind right now because I've been using the .50 inline muzzleloader for white tail. Boy, let me tell you, dude, that gun's amazing. If y'all don't have that .50 inline for white tail, you need to get it. And the only way to get that gun is from New England Mountains. It's uh, it comes with the map, and it's free too. So once you buy New England, it, you get the gun free. Like I said, man, it has been a hot minute since I've been on this bear grind. So my my zones, my stuff could change. But I used to have, so I remember when I was on my bear grind, when I was doing it, I always had a level three spawn somewhere in here. And I would always have some spawn over here too. I don't even have the night vision goggles or night vision stuff. Like I would have a few that would spawn here. I would, have, I would always have one three here and I would have one spawn there every now and then. And like I said, dude, bears rotate zones like crazy. I, I don't understand it. It's... I guess it's a predator thing. I guess predators in this game, like I've heard rumors from other content creators and stuff that predators in this game do rotate zones a lot, which is weird and I didn't know that. But, oh yeah, see there's a bear right there. I just heard a, oh. I don't know, hear a call, but it's not giving me where he's at. Huh, weird. Yeah, man. One, like I said, once you find, you got But you all, like I said, dude, on every grind you do, you always want to try to find as much zones as you can possibly, possible. Because, man, if you don't find all the zones that you can, and you can start rotating on zones, and eventually your stuff's going to start being whack, and you're just going to like, your spawns are going to be crazy. Now, if I can remember right, for people that don't know, rare black bears are going to be like. It's gonna be like a cinnamon black bear, a blonde black bear, and a brown black bear. I think those are all rare. I think if you get any of those three, those are rare. And I don't know the exact scoring for a diamond bear. I think it's like, if I if I see one, I'll sh I'll shoot one. I think I'm using the 30 out six, which is it's still rated for black bears. So I can shoot. If we shoot one, I'll uh, I'll go into its little inventory and show you exactly what a black bear score is supposed to be. A diamond black bear. I know, I know, I know that it has to be nine legendary. If you ever get an eight, di if you ever get an eight mythical diamond in this game, you are a very lucky individual. And like I said, my zones could have like changed. I really need to get the nighttime stuff. Like my stuff, my stuff sincerely could have changed. And dude, and bears take forever to get to their zones, man. They do. Like, man, I don't understand it. They are the... Dude, I literally had bears come to their zones like the last five minutes between their whole drink time. Like, I'm literally watching them walk to their feet, their uh, water zone the last five minutes. It's uh, it's crazy. Bear, bears are just weird, dude. So remember, they rotate. They rotate drink zones, and they can be extremely slow getting to their drink zones. So remember that. And you got, also got to find all your drink zones because if you don't, your spawns can be messed up. Unless you're not doing herd management and you're just shooting every male black bear you can. Which I've heard you don't have to do. Like, herd management is not a required thing to do for great ones. To be honest with you, I'm getting to the point now where I'm starting to do it so much that I don't think that herd management... Well, I know. I'm not going to sit here and say I think. I know that herd management doesn't affect... Yeah, see, there's a black bear right there. See? He's a level 6. And this is actually where I killed my great one black bear, by the way. If y'all haven't seen that. If you haven't seen it, definitely uh, go check out my TikTok. Which is uh, at Big Wonder Gaming. Or you can uh, go on my YouTube channel and find that as well. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to do something. But yeah, anyways, man. Like I said, uh, you would shoot this guy. So he's level 6. So you definitely shoot that guy. He is like what? So... 18 to 20. He's definitely not a diamond. I, th I think there's another bear right there. What is he? That's a female. Yeah, you don't want to shoot females on grinds. You can if you want, man. Like I said, I don't shoot females. I I just only shoot males. And then no, it's not going to hurt your grind if you accidentally shoot a female. It's it's not. It's okay if you do. 
Probably what I'll do. To be honest with you, I don't really care about hurting this dude. I don't really care about his scoring. Now I gotta go chase this dude 5,000 years. <laughs> Yeah, bears are kind of tough, man. Like I said, bears are considered level 8. So, you would probably want to use the 300. So, if you have access to the 300, the 300 canning, or the 338 breakover, or the 338 from the power pack, maybe the 7mm. Both the 7mm will work. I think 308, the 308 Zars and stuff like that, it does work on them. It takes a little time for them to go down, but it, it definitely works for sure. Alright. I'll be back. Let me go get this freaking bear and I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright, bro, we're back. Alright, let's check this bear out. Anyways, let y'all know I did shoot that bear with the Eckers 30 out 6 because the 30 out 6 is rated for bears, so. Yeah, man, let's see what a diamond bear is. Alright, so this was a 19.8. It probably would have been a gold. I don't really know. But I'm in the butt, bro. Gave that man a new butthole, swear. All right, so a diamond bear has to score 22.80. That has to be a diamond bear. More than likely, that's going to have to be a 9. Oh, I did hit him. I did hit him twice. Wow, okay. I don't know. I hit him twice. Huh. Check that out. Yeah, man, a diamond bear has to be a uh, 22.80 score rating. So, And they more likely have to be a uh, 9. So. Yeah, man, that's pretty much what you got to do. You just go around, shoot your bears, shoot. Like I said, if you want to do herd management... Shoot level fours and up. Uh, you can stack your diamonds you want. You don't have to. Uh, like I said, find all your drink zones. You gotta make sure you find all your drink zones. And if you're trying to place tents on, you know, stuff like this, make sure always go from like the closest drink zone or from like the closest point where I'm going to a lake or whatever. So for instance, I would go really close. I would place a mark and I would place it anywhere from like 260 yards to 280 yards away. That's just what I would do. That's definitely a smarter thing. Like I also said, bear drink from 20 hundred to uh, zero hundred. So keep that in mind. And also, this is only Silver Ridge. So you can do black bear hunts on New England, Silver Ridge, uh, Leighton Lakes, Mississippi. And I'm pretty sure there's probably another one in there I'm missing. I can't think of top of my head. But if I would give you, if I would have gave you an opinion on a hunt the black bears, dude, and give you the best, I would probably say Silver Ridge or Silver Ridge and Layton is probably going to be your top two best maps to do black bear grind. Especially Silver Ridge, dude. There's so many black bear on Silver Ridge, dude. It's it's insane. Like sincerely, man. So definitely, definitely uh, go to Silver Ridge. Uh, am I missing anything? I don't think so. I think I'd go over a lot of the guns. Like I said, uh, bears are class 8 animals, so any ammo that... Bro, shut your mouth. Oh, yeah, and you also got to take consideration, too. Mountain lions, I think, have a similar drink time, or they're close to bears, so they can... Mountain lions do spook your bears on Silver Ridge. That's the only downside of Silver Ridge, is that you can come across uh, mountain lions scaring your bears or whatever. But like I said, man, uh, bears are class 8 animals. Just make sure you have an ammo that is class 8. And you should be good, man. You should be good. And I get asked this on TikTok, man, a lot. How, where, where do you shoot the animal? Like, if you want a good, clean, vital hit that doesn't ruin the score. So you got you to gotta, you gotta check off two things. You always got to make sure you got the right gun. And you always, always got to aim behind the shoulder or in front of its chest. And a good thing about bears... Is if you place your shot right, they will stand up. Like if they're trying to do like a weird warning call or whatever, they will stand up on you, and it gives you a pretty clean shot. So, like they'll do like a weird T pose standing or whatever. <laughs> That's what I call it, anyways. Yeah, see if I had night vision goggles, dude. If y'all definitely, if y'all definitely have the night vision uh, binoculars in the game, definitely get them. I know, I think it's a DLC. I think it's like high tech DLC or whatever. But if you can get them, definitely. Do it, bro. It helps you a lot. 
Now, the night vision scope's kind of boo-boo cheeks, but other than that, man. And see, it's weird, dude. Like, I was, like sometimes I'll come here, and, like, this is always a pretty good uh, popular spot for me, but I can literally come here, and I would have, like, three bears here, but right now, I have zero. Like, it, I'm telling you, dude, they rotate zones like crazy. Like, they rotate drink zones like crazy. Yeah, man, that's pretty much it, dude. Let me do, do, do like, a little, little brief thing. Make sure y'all get everything. Like I said, bears drink between 20 hundred to 0 hundred. Keep that in mind. Uh, make sure you find all your drink zones. Which that's with any great one grind. You want to make sure you find all your drink zones. And, oh, hey, if you want to join the Discord, I have a channel in my Discord that shows off drink zones for great ones. I got one. I got a map with with uh with white tail i got a map with black bear like i i got it all man so hey make sure you all join the discord too we also got a cool community in there you know it also lets you know when i'm live and you know i'll post clips and you know stuff like that so make sure you're joining dude and everything's going to be in the link link all my links are going to be in my description so my tiktok link my twitch link my discord all of it dude so make sure y'all check that out but like i said man drink zones already told you what time bears drink uh, watch out for mountain lions because they will spook your bears. Bears rotate zones. Keep that in mind as well. Uh, that's pretty much it. Like I said, make sure you uh, shoot behind the shoulder to get that vital hit. Hit lungs or or maybe the middle of their chest. Get that heart shot. And like I said, make sure you're using a gun and ammo that is rated for rated for you know rated for bear, which bear are class eight animals. And I'll go ahead and give you a few examples. Like I said, I'm using 30 out, 30 out 6 right now, which works. 7 millimeter works. 308 works. Uh, the, like I said, both 338s, the both 7 millimeters, they all work. I'm going to be honest with you, dude. I think the, even the 308, the bolt action 308 would work too in, uh, in the Power Pack DLC. If y'all can get that Power Pack DLC, it's, it's pretty good, man. I mean, I know a lot of people sleep on it and say it's not good or whatever, but... It's, it's, I like it. I think it's good. But anyways, man, bro, this mountain lion is throwing, yo, what is your problem, man? Being sassy or what, dude? Chill out. But anyways, man, but yeah, this is, this is, hopefully this is, this helps you out. This is, I guess, my how-to or my guide on doing a Black Bear Great One Grind. I'm pretty sure there's easier, simpler methods out there. And there's other content creators out there. I'm not going to say names or whatever, but there is other big content creators out there in this genre that probably do a lot better explaining things. But I figured I'd go ahead and make this video and, you know, just try, try to help you out, dude. Just try to help you out. Because like, like I said, I, the black, I, I just wanted a black bear, man, because I wanted a black bear. I just, I really wanted one. I like black bears. I mean, I think, I think my great one black bear is definitely my favorite for sure. I freaking love my great one black bear. Freaking love that thing, man. Let's see if we can uh, find one more bear real quick before we hop off here. Let's see if we can find another shooter. This was actually no, that's in that spot. I want to go to. Uh, is it this lake? I think it's, I think it's this, is it this lake? I don't remember which one it was. I think it was either that one or this one, bro. One of these lakes was always really good. Like, bear always had high levels here. It's where a lot of, like, a lot of my, like, a lot of my, uh, eight, my eight mythicals and nine lake bears always spawned. Yeah, this is the lake. Bro, this is always a good spot for me. So, if y'all want to know, this is that lake prospect. It's the very bottom right lake you can go to. Oh, yeah, and go ahead there is some zone, black bear zones down here at the very edge of the bottom, so make sure y'all come check this out, dude. Like, the very bottom. Make sure y'all check that out. I had a few spawns here and there, you know. But like I said, make sure y'all check that out. I might not even have a black bear this time. Always had females here. Yep, there, there they are. The two females. Oh, there's one. Yeah, see, told you. It's a deal. Level 7. That's not a bad one. That's bigger than the last one we hit. He's about 230 something yards away. Alright. Like I said, put it behind that shot. Boom. And like I said, 30 30 out 6 isn't the best gun for you. See, if I was using 300 right there, the 300 cannon, I I would have dropped that dude probably. But like I said, 30 out 6 definitely does the job. I wouldn't recommend using it. 
I mean, if it's the only gun you have access to, it definitely works, and it's definitely made to swamp, so. There's a mule deer. Oh, yeah, and when you're on this bear grind, too, keep an eye out for a uh, pronghorn, because I think pronghorn drink around the same time as bears, too, because I actually got two diamonds. Actually, I got a diamond and a pie bot off of mine. A diamond pronghorn and a pie bot pronghorn off the bear grind, which is crazy. Where is he? There he is. Yeah, level 7 bear, not too bad. This was always a high, this was always a good spot for me. Yeah. Double longed him too. Wow, smoked that man. And he scored 20, so he was, yeah, like I said, dude. Like I said, it's, I, I've had 8 mythicals almost make diamond. Like, I literally had one that was like .10 off from making diamond. It was crazy. It was absolutely crazy. Trophy Lodge. I want to show you my bear. I want to show you all, show you off my black bear because I'm pretty sure you're all curious what mine looked. So if anyone's wondering, like I said, I got my, I got my uh, black bear on Silver Edge Peaks. Uh, it took me a whole month and three, was it 2,000 kills? Not 3,000, 2,000 kills. My moose grind, my moose grind that I just did recently took me 3,000 kills, which is crazy. Like I said, man, if y'all haven't seen all my stuff, make sure y'all go hit up my, uh, my YouTube, my TikToks, always post on there. And I stream on Twitch and uh, TikTok, so make sure y'all go check it out. I think my great one black bear is back here. Could be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There he is. Yeah. There he is, bro. The one and only homie. That's him, though. That's the guy. He's pretty cool, man. Like I said, this is the, this was the glacier, and I think there's six different fur types of these guys. So, but hey, man, if you if this video helped you out, and if you enjoy this video, hey, make sure you like the video, subscribe, and you know share the video, whatever whatever YouTube does. I don't really know what you, how the whole YouTube stuff works. So, hey, man, I appreciate y'all being here. Appreciate y'all uh, watching. See you in the next one, bro. So, peace.